while you talk about that like you, what did you just say how hard it is to find someone to actually surgically cut it out yeah why is that not everyone does it okay not everyone does it surgical surgical removal is it can does seem aggressive but in certain you know cases where their topical treatments aren't working or if the wart's super painful, that's a good case. Sure. And if it's just one cluster, it's way easier to surgically remove it, except uh, unless we have multiple ones. Right. But you've had how many years of treatment on this one? Five. Five. And it's killing so you now. I've had in office like the topical treatments, mm -hmm. 12 weeks of cream at home, two lasers, and yeah, very painful. All those treatments were painful. Yeah, and now it's so painful. I can't walk barefoot. I can't. Yeah, and and just nothing worked. It, it's not made a difference. Anything I've done. And, and so, like what we discussed, when you have multiple treatments that aren't really damaging the wart, you're basically just scarring and damaging the skin, making right. this hard, thick callus that's trapping the wart, which then makes further topical treatments even more difficult. So at this stage, the size of it, the history of it, it's going. Good. <laughs> it's going. <laughs> Gone. But I'm used to seeing like 40, 50 people a day. That's crazy. And I'm gonna be lucky to see five. <sighs> That's crazy. So I'm just cleaning up the area. Okay. Just removing some of the top dead skin. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> so. It's hard, eh, the skin? Or... It is, it is, but when you got this good scalpel, it's pretty good. So I can see underneath. I wanted to make it flat so we get a good idea of. I'm glad I didn't have that scalpel at home because I would have. You would have gone for it? Oh my gosh, I have, and it's, you know, the funny thing with, with the wart is everybody has a treatment, it's like having kids, like everybody is like my, do this, do this, do this, do banana peel, do tape, do this, do that. Did any of, any of the treatment really look like it was working? No. I would say the first laser, a scab formed, um, the first time I did the laser, and it, it, I, I thought that maybe it was going to work, um, but when the scab came off, it came Any out. pain there? No, sorry, I'm just twitchy. That's okay. Just making sure. Um, and then the cream that I did for 12 weeks was very, like, very abrasive. Corrosive. You feel, so, a, you feel any of that? No, sorry. I'm no, just... so that's good. No, no, so I'm just making sure. So you're good. So now you're going to definitely feel pressure. And this is the, the part everyone loves where I use my little ice cream scooper. Is it really big when you peel it down? Oh, you're gonna see it. Oh, that one's a good one. <laughs> I know you really want to see this thing, I right? Know. Well, you know, five years, this is a big day. I was excited all week to come here. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a nice one. Just like you, it's a beautiful one. It's, it's, <laughs> it's well put together. Oh, good. Very well organized. Well organized ward. Is it a few or is it one? Two. It's two. It started as one and then... Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good one. You're gonna see this thing. It is thick. <laughs> You're getting a workout. <laughs> <laughs> this is honestly this procedure takes a lot of work. I can see because so you a, have to use strength, but be careful. Holy cow, that is big. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? That's is that huge? Yeah, that's a thick one. There, you can see it over there. So you see the two lobes. There's that one, and then there's that one. That's it. All of that, just two little. Yeah. Because I would see like six or seven black spots in it. Can you see this? Wow. Thank you, sir. No problem. So, uh, I need a name. John. 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 John, thank you, John. You know how hard it is it to arrange drop off? Oh, they don't want to tell people when I know. they're coming. That's Medical Mart. So, I don't know if you can still see the screen because I tried yes. to. So, what we're doing is cleaning the outside border. It's actually, I thought it would be a bigger hole. Because everyone thinks that, even how big it is, but it's because it's only in the top layer of skin. Right. That it's not going deeper. It's just the callus buildup on top that makes it look a lot worse. Huh. 
So see here, it's not really that deep, right? Here and here, it's just the uh, center portion. How do you know how far of a border to... Again, when I scored around the wart, it's around two millimeters, three millimeters. And then I also clean up now with tool, just cleaning everything out. And then we also apply acid to that area and electricity. Oh, this better not come back. We have a, a very high percentage of this being successful with one go. But the most important part is us seeing each other probably six to eight weeks from now. Okay. When this starts to heal up, because then we can see Pretty how it's sure. looking. Yeah. But yours came out in one nice piece. So this is very deep. I'll tell you why. You see that? The dark, the dark patch? Like yeah, this dark thing of, here? Yeah. Those are blood vessels that are underneath the top layer of skin. So that is deep. We're not in that area, but that's how far the wart was going down. So this was very deep. Most of the time after I remove it, it's just white. We don't even see pink okay. or thing. So you were, you were feeling it. Five years does that. Oh, and that's And multiple treatments. Pink. And that's why it was painful. Yes. It was so deep. So deep. But will be, but the blood vessels will it still be in there? The virus? No, no, because the virus basically we have physically removed the virus. Okay. And then destroying it, so now there's nothing pulling the blood supply from the okay. lower levels. So now we're gonna apply a little bit of electricity. So again, you shouldn't feel anything. Anything? No. And the whole point again is to create some damage. So the interesting thing, some people when they do surgery who, who don't really know or, or are experienced, they go too deep. If we go past this layer, then we're creating a lot of scar tissue. Okay. We're, we're basically removing that last layer of skin cells that form the top layer of skin. Okay, which is what I was concerned about scar tissue, so yeah. So we don't have to go past there. So that's a big mistake. When we see fat cells coming out, we've gone a little too deep. Okay. So that was electricity. That's pretty much the hard part. This is just the finishing touches. So we apply an extra acid on there to really try to, again, damage and destroy okay. everything. So in a week, it's gonna be flat. Wow. Gonna be flat. It's hard to imagine. This is so exciting. I never thought I'd be so excited <laughs> to get a wart removed. Your daughter's gonna want to see this for oh, sure. Oh, she was so upset she couldn't come watch. At eight. Eight. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, uh, surgeon in training. That's amazing. But you see how simple that was? Yeah. That was it. No, Look. it was. I'm so happy I did this. The only hard part was obviously the needle. And it's not even bleeding. No, and that's because we have the tourniquet. So if we didn't, this would be bleeding all over the place. Oh, okay. So what will happen, I'm gonna put a dressing on the area. All we have to do to dress it is with an antibiotic cream. Okay. Some gauze and some wrap. Okay. You're gonna do that morning and night for one week. Okay. And after one week, we switch to the brown liquid. Um, like you're gonna give me a cream to put on it? That's the only thing that you have to get yourself, prescription cream. Okay. So this is the fusidin cream. Oh, I have fusina. Is that what I'm putting yep. on? Fusina. fusina. Okay, I've got some. Yeah. And we put on a, a little bit of gauze to protect itself. Today, I'm going to put a little bit more. Okay. And I'm going to put one wrap around, and then I'm going to release the tourniquet. And am I supposed to like keep wrapping it like this for a while? It all depends on how you feel comfortable with. I would okay. just wrap it once or twice around, nothing too much. But like do that till I see you. For again? one for one week. Okay. And then we'll review how it's looking after one week. Okay. But normally what happens is then you're just putting brown liquid, okay, yeah. a band-aid, yeah. and then choose just to make you feel comfortable. Okay, perfect. But since you're working, you might want to you know, use the band-aid and then put a couple pieces of gauze on top, okay. just to give you a little bit more protection. Okay, perfect. That was that. Easy. Easy, right? Totally easy. Let me show you this. That's like, it's amazing because I thought there would be more black pieces. No, this is only on the top. And you wow. see how it's yellow, uh, white? Yeah. That's the fibrous tissue. Wow. If you want, I'll give you gloves and you can squeeze it. Oh, wow. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> see if this can focus, let me get Because everyone likes to see what this thing. Oh, yeah. Very thick. It's pretty crazy. And that's why 
nothing can get into it. Right, because it's so thick. Too thick. There you go. So we'll put you down. 